There are some huge things that have that really have changed. Um, when I started in this business, um, there were very few people who actually knew how to make a picture. Um, and some of the students in the audience may not understand it, but there's enough silver hair out there that I know that you guys do remember a time where really a very small percentage of the population had the skill to take a technically adequate picture, especially of something moving, um, <laughs> process the film, make a print, and then get it on the wall or get it to the copy editor's desk by deadline. Um, and there was a very good reason for that. Um, you know, if you had a child who had musical talent and you had the money and the room, you'd buy a piano and you'd put it in the living room and your child would practice there and when anybody came to your house, they would be treated to, you know, Beethoven concertos. Even though the vast majority of them would not want to listen to a Beethoven concerto played by Beethoven himself, let alone by a 12-year-old. But that's what you would do. And if your child was a photographic prodigy and you had the space and the money, you'd go to the darkest, dankest corner of your basement and you would build a little closet with no ventilation and a door that was so tight that none of the darkness could leak out. And that's where your child would spend their adolescence snorting really toxic chemistry. <laughs> and reasonably, not very many people wanted to do that. Not many people were willing to devote the time to learn the trade craft because it took years. And so as a result, you ended up with this sort of cult. Um, and it was a cult of weirdos. I'll tell you, I'm one of the only normal people that came out of that process. <laughs>